What it do? Josh here with the Prov Productions. Sorry I've been gone for like a week. I've been throwing my balls or throwing my guts up. It hurt. Okay, but I'm back in UE4 with a 26th material tutorial. And we're going to cover something super fast and easy today called opacity masks. And it's probably real simple and a lot of you guys know, but some of you don't. I actually got a question in a little Facebook center place where people were like, Hey man, I'm having a little trouble with my opacity. I'm going to explain it right here, whatever your name is, because I can't remember right now. Okay, but I'm back in it. Now let's jump. I got this big cube here, okay? And we're going to put a little face. Put a little, put, I got a little eyeballs right here. Little, little eyeballs. Now that's a texture, right? And what you need is we're going to create a material of this texture. But I've got a plane here. Okay, it's just a plane like that. And we're going we're gonna to turn that baby around and put it right on the, right on the flat, right on, the, right, on this, right on this face, okay? Right on this cube's face. I'm going to move it out just a little bit like that. What we're going to do is we're going to put these eyeballs on this bad baby. Now what's cool is I want to show you a couple tricks while we're doing this real simple thing here. This texture here. Now, there's something about it you need to know. It's actually got a transparent background, okay? It's a PNG image. Now, you can't see that in here, but we'll talk about that in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this texture straight onto this plane and watch what happens. Boom. It creates the material for me and applies it to the, to the, to the plane. And then what we want is not that. So we got a couple eyeballs, okay? And we can see that our eye mat is forming up. Eyes underscore mat is forming up. That's how it just labels it for you, which is pretty cool, okay? Now that's, let's, let's double click on the material here because what we want is obviously just to see those eyeballs. Now check it out. Let's double click, jump in, and, and don't be afraid of it, maybe a little bit. Now, now, now let's, let's unplug base collar because what I'm going to do is since it's just like a face, you know, there's little eyeballs on my, on my cube guy. We'll make sure that if we could click on the material here, we're going to make sure it's not, it's going to be unlit, not default lit, which that means we're just going to plug this bad baby into a missive collar. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want the light affecting that. I'm going to switch it to the plane here, right? That way I can look at my, look at my eyeballs, okay? Balls. Now here's the thing. We, a couple things, a couple things is we, we, what we typically do, I just want to explain this, is we go right here, okay? And we change opaque to translucent, yes, okay? And then we can just plug this into opacity, boom. We'll get rid of all the black, and we got some, we got, well, we got some eyeballs, but you, you kind of see the, you kind of see the problem there, right? Let's save it, go back out, and as you'll be able to tell, they'll be applied to the cube now, and we'll have a little, couple little, couple little white eyeballs. You're like, nice, but that's actually not what I have here. If you actually check out the image, that's not what it is. So let's unplug opacity first thing, okay? And then I actually want you to click on this. Click on the material, apologize, or the texture, and double click on this. Now check it out. It's going to open up the texture. I want you to look at what's actually happening here. Look at this texture. It's a couple eyeballs. There's white and black. And the background is transparent or translucent, whatever you do. That. That's something you do in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever 2D art program you use. But the point is, we need the white and the black. See, the alpha's taking out the black, and you can do the one minus and take out the white. But we need to actually max out just what the transparency is and still get those. So I want to make sure you guys know how to do that today. It's still very simple, but I just want to point that out. So we're going we're gonna to close this. We still got this bad baby. This is how we're going to do it. I want you to click on translucent, and I want you to drop it. Go down to masked instead. See, masked right here. Okay? Now, so let's set it back to the, back to the square because it's a ball again. I don't know why. And now you'll notice, though, opacity mask is wide opened. I'm going to take the alpha channel of the texture and plug it into the opacity mask. And bada bing, bada boom, you got eyeballs, you have the white and the black. So it doesn't matter how many collars you have. The point is the opacity mask is only gonna take out the transparent background. Make sure you understand the difference of that. The opacity is actually taking out, it's a binary, a zero to one. So anything that's black, it's gonna get rid of it. Or anything that's white, if you're using a one minus, it's gonna get rid of it. Or anything that's not black, it's gonna keep or whatever. But the opacity mask, you need an image with an an alpha channel, basically, an alpha channel, which is a transparent image. So you can take the alpha channel and plug it into the opacity mask and then save what you've done and and, 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 and close this garbage, you know what I'm saying, whatever's going to this texture, close that, and boom, now my now my cubes got got some eyeballs, okay? I got a little eyeball guy. I got a guy with with, a, with balls, or eyeballs, you know what I'm talking about? He's 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 blue. But the point is, guys, real simple tutorial. I just want to show you a couple tricks with the texture very quick, very fast. Jumping back in here after being gone, for a week, and again, I apologize. My ball, or my guts, they hurt. Uh, 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 whatever. But guys, love you, miss you. Sorry I've been gone so long. 
Again, hit us up, YouTube to Prop Productions, Facebook to Prop Productions. I'll be back in just a couple days. We're about to jump into some 2D stuff soon. So I want to make sure you guys understand the opacity mask feature in the materials because we're using this a lot when it comes to 2D stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like 2D art and 2D games and stuff like that, so whatever. But guys, hit us up on SoundCloud, Deprived, capital D at the, at the beginning, capital D at the end. Hit us up on Bandcamp, Facebook, Deprived Productions, YouTube, Deprived Productions, all that good stuff. But guys, anyway, thanks for watching. I know it was quick. Just wanted to cover something super simple today now that I'm back in gear. You know what I'm talking about? Love you. Miss you. Peace.